Hey guys, uh, say I wanted to do a really quick little video, show you how to establish a forward right hand picking pattern in arpeggio, all right? Now you know the right hand is labeled differently than the left. Um, it's, you know, it's your thumb, index, middle, and ring, but the labeling is P for Polgar, I for Indesio Index, M for Medio Medicio, middle, and then A for Anular, which I believe is Spanish for ring, but it's Pima, it's P-I-M-A. One of the things to note about this is just like when you're playing chords for the first time, you know, you're putting your fingers down and you're placing them and you're just trying to get it to sound out. And so you're not really moving quickly, right? Well, the same is true when you're trying to execute a finger style pattern, right? So there's forward rolls and there's backward rolls. Those are like the simplest ones there are. But there is a technique to establish this so that in time you'll get faster. And when you do speed up, this technique won't sound the way it sounds when you first start, okay? And what you do on a forward roll, we're just gonna deal with the top four strings, okay? So I'm going to be having my thumb on the fourth string, and then each finger, IMA, on the top three strings. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place everything on the strings to start with, all right? And I'm gonna go. Notice I had the three fingers and the thumb on the four strings to start with. I didn't go into this and then try to place, and then try to place, and then try to place. You're, you're doing too much to navigate to the strings when you're trying to get in there, right? If you place all three fingers and your thumb down like this, get them on the strings and then go. Now, that sounds choppy because you're just starting to learn this, but think about this. Once you get speed, you're not gonna hear that. Then it does become this in movement, but you gotta start somewhere. So start by placing everything down at the same time so everything's in the spot it needs to be. And remember, your thumb has to roll over your index. You don't want that thumb coming down into the palm. That's not a good idea because then you're just limiting the movement of this. So again, and that's what it ends up eventually being. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a section from a Via Lobos piece that's all a forward roll arpeggio. And I'm going to do it in three tempos. One, like I'm just starting to learn this two like I'm getting a little bit better with it and then three that I've gotten it down to a faster tempo watch what happens to the right hand though in each of these Now you notice what I did is I placed my hand on all four strings before I did anything with the roll. After you do this for a period of time, it starts to smooth out where it's... See how that worked? I was able to do the arpeggio, I was able to do it smoothly, I was able to get my fingers back to the strings to do it, and it didn't sound like I was killing all the strings all the time, it sounded more fluid. Eventually though what ha happens is you get faster, and when you get faster, your hand moves through this and it almost looks like it's doing this cascade. <laughs> right, so that's got some tempo, right? Well, that doesn't happen overnight, and this is, I'm just using this as an example of whenever you're first learning how to do a forward roll 
picking pattern with your right hand, everything's in place before you do the roll. Back down. See, everything's on there before I do. So is there a delay and does it take time to get to this? Yeah, it does. But I mean, just think about this for a second. Once you get this down, anything that calls for this type of arpeggio, it is going to go so much easier for you. All right, there we go, guys. Thanks, and that's a forward roll arpeggio explanation. It's actually a hack. Okay, see you guys in the next vid. Take care.